I'd like to talk about conditional breakpoints and air breakpoints. Conditional breakpoints are helpful when traditional breakpoints stop too often. I have found them helpful for finding errors within loops or in molecular simulations with many particles where calculations for a certain pair of particles are creating a crash while the same calculations for other particles are fine. If your code works fine most of the time but crashes sporadically you might consider conditional breakpoints. Usually you have a clue or a hypothesis about what is causing the crash and you want to see or view other variables that may lead to that condition. In this screencast I will discuss conditional breakpoints, air breakpoints, and I'll make some comments on the try-catch construction that's offered within MATLAB. I'm going to use the original demo vector code before it was modified for input-output values or cells in the advanced debugging screencast. Let's create a conditional breakpoint at line 27. To create a conditional breakpoint, I usually start with a traditional breakpoint and then I right click to set the condition. You can set the condition by typing in any logical expression. For example, I could stop only if b is less than or equal to zero by entering that condition. Note that a logical value of an equality requires a double equal sign. A single equal sign is an assignment statement in computer code and it will always be evaluated true by logic. Note that when I set the condition the breakpoint will change to yellow. Any valid logical statement can be used in a conditional breakpoint so complicated conditions using multiple OR or AND conditions are possible. You should be aware that code may run more slowly with a conditional breakpoint set, so be patient if you run code with conditional breakpoints. Another type of breakpoint that can be helpful is an error breakpoint. Normally when code crashes, MATLAB writes an error message to the command window and terminates. This can be frustrating if you want to look at values just prior to the statement that caused the crash. This type of breakpoint will enable you to do that. Error breakpoints are not assigned to a particular line of code, but they are a type of global status that will interrupt MATLAB before the execution terminates. To set an error breakpoint, use the breakpoint dropdown in the ribbon. Note the error handling section offers stop on errors and stop on warnings. I'm going to show you the third choice which covers these plus the other options. The radio button selections for these tabs are all similar. Here on the error tab the selections are never stop if error which turns off error breakpoints, the always stop if error turns on error breakpoints, and the option for use message identifiers permits you to stop only for specific types of errors based on the error description that is written to the command window upon a crash. Note that the statements in parentheses are the equivalent statements that can be used in the command window to set and clear error-based breakpoints. Recall that when I started working with this code I had a division by zero that caused an infinite value. In MATLAB that is not normally a fatal error. Note the tab to stop if NAN, not a number, or INF, infinity, occurs in your code. MATLAB also offers a try-catch construction. The try-catch construction is usually used as an alternative to an if-then construction to catch statements that would normally cause a crash. If you want to catch errors that are normally fatal and take some corrective action within the code, you can use the try-catch construction. For an if-then construction, you must know how to test the conditions leading to the error. For a try-catch construction, you can react to the error without knowing exactly what led to the error. Note that MATLAB offers conditional breakpoints that interact with the try-catch construction. 
Overall, you can see that conditional breakpoints can be very powerful in helping you find conditions that lead to sporadic errors.